Good morning, ESM. Today is going to be a bit of a tearjerker. Get ready to have your no nostalgia exploited. We are, of course, talking about the Nintendo Wii. Nintendo has recently announced that they will no longer be repairing any of their consoles. So we'll be giving the Wii an honorable send-off right after news and announcements. Two Americans, Finnegan Lee Elder and Gabriel Nintel Hajort, went on trial yesterday for the murder of an Italian policeman during a summer vacation in Italy. Deputy Brigadier Mario Rega was unarmed with his police partner when he was stabbed 11 times and left bleeding on a street near the Americans' Hotel early on July 26, 2019. Persecutors have alleged that Elder thrust a 7-inch attack-style knife repeatedly into the police officer, while Hajort scuffled nearby with the partner who was slightly injured. Under Italian law, accomplices to an alleged murder can also be charged with murder itself. In addition to a murder charge, both defendants are also being charged with attempted extortion related to a drug deal that had gone bad and resisting public officials. At the trial, both said they thought they were being attacked and acted in self-defense. Elder's lawyers and family members have quoted the young man saying he had mistaken the police officers with common criminals out to assault them and that he was fighting for his life. According to judicial documents, Intel Hajort claimed he didn't know his friend had a knife. Persecutors contend that after the stabbing, he was the one who hid the knife behind a panel in the ceiling of the hotel room the American shared. Conviction for murder in Italy can bring a sentence as high as a life sentence. The country doesn't have the death penalty. The grandfather of a toddler who died from falling off a cruise ship pled guilty to her death. Salvatore Anello, grandfather of Chloe Wiegand, pled, pleaded guilty to pushing Chloe off a Royal Caribbean cruise ship in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Chloe's family claimed Anello had Chloe up to a window to bang on some glass when she slipped and fell. Anello claimed he was colorblind and there were no signs indicating the window were open. Kim and Alexander Wiegand, Chloe's parents, said in a statement on Today, they hope to bring awareness and ensure such an incident doesn't happen to another family. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pardon my inability to read, my glasses are still broken. Senior Variety Show will be meeting Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week and next week after school in room B44. Bring yourself, a friend, and some ideas for... Scripts. Scripts and stuff. <laughs> Next week's National Honor Society meeting has been moved to Wednesday, March 18th at 10.15 in the large cafeteria. Can you just do them? I can't read. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Okay. Uh, Yogi's of ESM is excited to announce their return to the library this Thursday at 3.30. Work off those winter blues and boost your energy and self-confidence with a brand new Vinyasa Flow. I think that's what that is. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. Yes, as we said, the Nintendo Wii's reign is coming to a close. The, the Wii was released in no November 19th, 2006 and took the world by storm. The Wii was especially cool as it was the first console to have flushed out and just generally good motion controls. It's also one of the first controllers that, for, the, for most games, is completely ambidextrous. Sony would try to uh, replicate this with uh, the PlayStation Move, but that failed, like, pretty hard. And it deserved it. Yeah. Uh, the Wii would go on to sell over one, is that say, 101, 101 million, million units. Uh, holding the record until 2016 and, t by, and getting beaten by the PlayStation 4. Alas, all great things must come to an end, of course. Just recently, Just Dance 2020 was announced as the last game for the Nintendo Wii. And Nintendo announced that they will no, no longer be repairing Wii consoles. Nintendo Wii, you will be missed. After weather, we will be celebrating the Wii by playing a classic game from our childhood. Today we'll have a bit of rain and snow to start the day, but warming to a few scattered rain showers in the late morning and afternoon. Some heavier rain will be developing in the afternoon, changing back to snow again late tonight. Tomorrow will be windy and colder with snow in the morning and colder temperatures in the 20s. Friday will be blustery and colder with accumulating snow and a high in the mid-20s again. Saturday should be brisk and slightly colder with continued lake effect snow and highs in the low 20s. Sunday will continue with the cold temperatures, but we'll have slightly more sun to still with some clouds and high in the low to mid-20s. Monday should have some sun fading behind clouds and slightly warmer temperatures in the low 30s. You can expect a wintry mix arriving Tuesday with a high in the mid 40s. I'm Allie with your weather.
Hi, I'm Jane with Mysterious Facts. Today, I'm adding a twist, an urban legend. Fact or myth, you decide. We have one here in Onondaga County, a mysterious road known as the 13 Curves. The legend describes a young bride dressed in white who died in the 1900s during her wedding. Several people have reported a ghostly form walking along the road looking for her groom. Several sightings have been since this time. So if you find yourself driving along Cedarville Road in Marcellus, New York, also known as 13 Curves, during the evening you may come across this ghostly bride. Until next week, watch where you're going. Well, it's I don't smashed. know. The game is smashed. I don't know how to turn the uh, the volume up, and that's there. So, Malachi, okay, why don't you get the game started, and I'll fix this. Okay. Awesome. Let's go. All right. Now, I'll have you all know I'm actually very good at Smash. I'm actually very bad at Smash. So. We have um, two minutes set on the timer here. Also, this is. Also, it's he has important. different moves than he has an ultimate. It's so. important to note that. Okay, that's rude. It's important to note. <gasps> I want that. <laughs> you hold that. Ah. <laughs> Is that an electrotorb? Either way, it's down there and it can't do much to you. Now, this what is a. Uh, I don't. I don't understand Bowser in this game. It's important to note. It's Stop. No, it's important to note that. Uh, gotcha. Bowser's <laughs> lit. <laughs> it's important to note that uh, this is Hyrule. This map is Hyrule, I believe. No, uh, I think this is the one from Pit. No, it's not. You can see Triforces everywhere. Oh. Look, there's Triforces everywhere. Come and on. I'm playing as Link. Link is my main because I love him. I want that. Oh, I can blow fire. I actually like didn't even. Oh, really Bowser, do that. the dragon Ball can blow fire. Where'd it go? I'm just gonna focus on taking you out at this no, point. No, I need the. I need the. It's gone. It's gone. I hate that. Here, have that. Wait, hold on. How do I pick up? There it is. All right. <laughs> There's a way to pick up a bomb, and I always forget it in every game. But it's, it's like one of his. Ah. There, hold that. Wait, hold no, that. I thought that was only in um, Ultimate because that's what he does in um. Hold that. The he guy. has a. Uh, he has a um. He has a uh, bomb in Twilight Princess, too. He has a bomb in every game. Does he? Oh. Now, if you're interested in games like this, we actually have a couple different um, gaming things, gaming activities in ESM. We have a gaming club after school, I believe. We have a... Uh, you ow! We ask have someone a, uh, who isn't us about, for information about that. I got him. I definitely <laughs> didn't deserve that, but I'll and take we it. Also, we have a game design class, if you're interested in that. It's a later elective. I think it's after 10th grade. Dude, that, that star is being so useful right now. That was... So ask, uh, ask your counselor about those activities, and they should be able to um, oh, help gosh. you out. We're going to get a tie. That's going to be so That's boring. Gonna be... All right, hold on. I just got to get damage off on you. Don't. Sorry, what? Damage? No, 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 no. I think I won because you're at a higher percent. So I'm <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best at Smash. Sports. All right, so now. <laughs> Boys basketball defeated New Hartford 70 to 50 in the quarterfinals of sectionals. Nick Peterson had a perfectly placed alley oop from Devin Moscato Buffalo. Jimmy Ferns led the team with 21 points in the win. The Spartans will play against JD in the semifinals on Friday at the SRC Arena at 5.30. Kobe White became the first rookie in NBA history to score 30 or more points in three consecutive games coming off the bench. White also became the first rookie in NBA history to make five or more three-pointers in three consecutive games. On top of all that, he also joined Michael Jordan as the two, only, the two Bulls rookies with three straight 30-point games. LeBron James has accomplished something that hasn't been done since Kobe Bryant did it in 2013. LeBron, ha LeBron, who scored 40 points in the win last night against the Pelicans, became the first player since Kobe to score 40 points in a game in his 17th season or more. I'm Luke with Sports. Sorry, we're playing some more Smash. So, uh, yeah. We yeah. hoped you all enjoyed watching us look back on the most influential console of, the, of all time, as much as we did. Uh, once again, as we said, um, if you're interested, or if you weren't interested in gaming and you are now, uh, we have gaming clubs and we have game design classes. All that stuff that you can talk to your counselor about. But that's really all the time we have for, for today. So for me, Malachi, and everyone else here on The Morning Show, have a good day. God bless the Wii.